Hello, I'm Marigama, and I'm back again for another bar of, uh, Bare Basics, Beginner Tutorials, Live 2D, oh, it doesn't matter. So in the, in the last, um, the last one we did the, uh, eyebrows and the nose and the forehead thingy. Um, so we're getting close on the face, and I said that we were going to do the mouth next. <sighs> I hate doing the mouth. I need you to understand how much I hate doing the mouth. I hate it. Oh, I hate it so much. So, um, I have a uh, little cheat sheet, which I showed before, and I'm going to go find it again. This little thing here that I use as a basics, easy to remember how to do um, mouths. Uh, so you like, you know, sad, neutral, happy, and then you could go even sadder, even more, you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, so we're going to do that. And I have in the mouth, um, we have the teethies, which let me, uh, oops. Okay. 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 Calm, calm down. Calm down. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're going to just do like, uh, some meshes for all of these and as mentioned before like i'm not yeah it is what it is you know uh this one and these ones i may no i think that's fine and then the lip, I'll just do a light little. All right, let's get rid of the little. So I have a, the upper lip and the lower lip, which are exactly the same. And I kind of wanted them to start with this as the neutral mouth, like them, the kind of cat. Even though uh, I'm not a cat. I'm not a cat, I'm a fox. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but let's start with the upper lip. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the path deformer. Path Deformer is my best friend here. Um, and I'm going to grab the points that I want to specifically have. And then I'm going to grab a couple of additional points and move them to where I want. Here, get a, get, get one here and get one here. And that's to make sure that it, it flows the way I want. Put that more in the corner. Excellent. Nope. Uh, sorry. I'm gonna just gonna work my way all the way down and blah, 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 blah. Yep. And adjust the path width. Um, I would say right there is pretty good. And I'm gonna do the same for the bottom lip. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. It looks good. Let's do it. Let's do it to it, y'all. Okay. <laughs> um, and we're gonna come back over here and Let's close out these because we don't want these for now. And the mouth. Let's let's do one at a time. All right. So um, let's do mouth forms first. And I'm gonna start with three. Um, I'll grab the parameters and I'm gonna go up. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Let's do this to two and let's do this one to negative two. So we have that extra, and then we'll just grab the end caps as well. Okay. Actually, before I do that, if I, I'm going to get rid of these end ones, so I can just hit that little minus one. And the reason I'm going to do that is so when I add in the other ones, it'll... Trust me, I know, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Do you think I wouldn't know what I'm doing? All right, I'm going to hide the lower lips to so just work on the top lip for, lip for now. And I want to make this like a smile. I'm just going to pull this out a little bit. Kind of like that. Neutral, I might bring this down just a little bit. So it's kind of more of a meh. And then this one's going to be more of a... And this is actually going to be the frown form, so I'm going to use this as a measurement for, like, sad face. Uh, sometimes I will draw them all in, like... Oops, I don't want to do that. Get rid of that. 
Um, sometimes I will draw in the different forms I want just to make it easier to match it up, line it up, you know. Actually, I didn't mean to do that. Let me undo all this. <laughs> um, so I want that here on the negative, on the negative two, and then we will go like this. I'm sorry, sometimes I get a little forgetful. Um, when you're tutor doing tutorials and stuff, uh, sometimes you have to do things in a different way than your mind right processes them. Alright, so for this one, I'm going to kind of in between these two. So I'm going to kind of bring this up here and I'm just going to sort of pull this in. Or it's just like, meh. So it's like, hmm? Hmm. And for this one, I don't really know how to make it any of any more of a bigger smile, but I guess I'll just go out wider. Eh, look at that smug mouth. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, 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 wow. Alright, and uh, we'll do this. Um, and for this one, we're going to do... Let's see, we'll add our, our three here. And then we will work from there. And we're going to just line them up to be the same. So usually when I do this on my own, I can just kind of focus on what I'm doing and not have to worry about, like, talking my way through. And I just do some things by muscle memory, if you will. Alright, let me do a mouth form for the lip. As well, and I'm gonna just do like a one, two, three, and that's mostly just so I can um, kind of flex it a little bit. <laughs> Look at that fucking pouty face! I love it. Ah, sorry, I know I swear a lot. Um, now we're gonna do the open and closed, and the open and closed is gonna be kind of a little. Different. All right, I'm gonna. I am gonna turn the bottom lip off while I do this, though. So we have zero to one, but I'm gonna add like a point two or whatever, and this is gonna be my close, and then this will be my open. And the reason that this is my close and not this one, well, this one will also be my close, is because I don't want my mouth to linger open. You can adjust it, but it's kind of sometimes a little hard to get it just right. And every so often, like um. It'll just sort of hang open a little bit, yeah. So I can add that there, but... Ah. And I... I guess really for the upper lip, you're just gonna move it up a little bit. Like wherever it is, just like up a little bit. And if you need to shape it. Um, but for this one, it's just gonna be kind of up a little bit. This one might be up a, a little bit. And then this one is going to be up, and maybe like I'm going to stretch it out just a smidgen. Now this was a little messy, so I'm going to have to fix some of these points to make it look not as messy. And it is one of the problems with doing line deformers is that, you know, it sometimes makes it messy, especially depending on, you know, that little thing that we adjust is the circles around everything. Yeah, like that. And I'm usually not very picky about things being perfect. I feel like if we wait for things to be perfect, then um, we will just be at this until we stress ourselves out. And I'm all about not stressing the fuck out anymore. <laughs> Please and thank you. I'm just trying to live my life the best I can live my life. And that's all you should do too. You know, you live your life to the best that you can live your life. And don't don't stress over the dumb shit like this. Because it's honestly it's not worth it. Well. 
<laughs> Alright, and this one's gonna be more of that O one I said, right? <laughs> Sorry, I like I like laughing at the faces that I make and um there are often times where I'm making the face too, like in <laughs> in IRL. Um, there's also ways that if you really wanted to, you can make all the individual mouths and just kind of morph the lips to them. Um, I've done that before. It's a, it's, it's, you know how tedious this, this, uh, you know, live to doing is? Well, it's super tedious doing it that way. So um, right now I'm using a Cubism 4.1.04, but I know 4.2 is coming out in which it'll have the um, blend shape. So you could just do the A, E, U, A, O, and I'm looking forward to that. Mm, I say I'm angry fries. I want that angry fries. <laughs> Now that we have kind of like our basic mouth, and, and we could go even more detail. We can add so many more key forms. I think um, one of the ones I had 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 25 key forms for um, the mouth. Uh, it was a pain in the ass. That was the uh, last live 2D I did, the one where it was like had a half turn face. Um, honestly, it wasn't even worth doing all the work for that, but, you know. All right, now we're going to do the, the throat, um, which should technically be behind, uh, all this. No, keep it in the folder, though. All right, throat. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my path deformer, and I'm going to apply it around the edge. So that way I can make it match the shape I want it to. I'm just going back there and kind of just balance these out. Okay. Um, blah, 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 blah. Right about, right about me. Right about me. Yeah, right meow. Right meow, right meow. All right, so, uh, oops, I forgot to grab the arrow. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kinda shape this to match, to match this, you know? Um, to the best of my ability. Now I need to do it for the closed mouth. So we have that's the open, and this is gonna be the closed. So first thing I'm gonna do is just kind of pull it as close as possible. Usually you'd add like um a bit of a skin flap, but I didn't because I'm a dumb <laughs> Yeah, usually you'd add that so you can kind of hide it underneath. It just makes it easier. Um, but for this, the, the the line thickness of the mouth is big enough that I should be able to just, like, hide this if I fold it in on itself behind um, the mouth. And if it's something I can't do, I can just add it in later. Like we showed in the last one in the eye. How we can just add in like some missing stuff we can do that with this too so one of the good things about doing this if you're an artist is that you can adjust on the fly you don't have to like come on stop giving me the wrong one give me this one yeah. this one no this one i want this one no no yes no yes no yes no Yes, no, 
Yes, no. Yes, yes. Uh, you can adjust as need be. You don't have to keep contacting somebody to fix it. In fact, even when I've commissioned stuff in the past from people, like artwork, um, if it needs fixing, I just go and fix it myself. For the most part, I don't think artists really care that much for like minor fixes. Like if something needs to be cut up differently or whatever. Although I'm beginning to think we might need to add some of that face skin. I could do it real quick. It's not going to take a long time. Alright, hold on. So one of the things is, is when I did my, um, the, the witch one, I had to go back and like add things in so many times, um, just because of various mistakes or things I forgot. All right. So here are the, the lip skins. Um, I'm just turning off the face for now so we can see what we're doing. And I'm going to take these lip skins and I'm going to grab both of them and I'm going to bring them down into the mouth and they're going to go here and that's all going to go there. All right. So what I have is my upper lips, the lipstick, then the skins and then the back of the throat stuff, the inside the mouth stuff. Okay. Um, we're going to get rid of that and I'm just going to let it do a little. Eh, can we do heavy? We'll do heavy. Uh, for the upper, I want kind of more of this, um, more of this area. Let's see, like three, four, yeah, seven. Perfect. Uh, bring this down. <laughs> Right about meow. And this is just gonna like kind of form around the design of the upper lip. Uh, do be careful with stuff like this though, like if you make it too big, because I know like you can do it for the eyes too. Um, but if you make it too big, it might go into another part or some of the shading you might have. Because like in mine, I have like this kind of like a brightness back here and like the shading part back here uh but this area right here is all about the same color so it should be fine and this will need to just do the mouth forms and to be fair we don't really need it too thick just thick enough to where we can hide some of the uh stoops so i can like bring it down to about here It will make things easier when we go to do the inside of the mouth. And if you uh, grab this, you can kind of see where some of that skin is overlapping. And we don't want to see it below the lip. We just want it above it. So that way we can kind of hide some stuff behind it. This lip is the curtain. A curtain for the magic show. And we can't we can't show those wires. That's what's going to happen. We're going to show those wires if we don't hide this this lip stoof. So when it closes, I know this one's not right, but when it closes, it should hide a little bit behind it. And when it opens and stuff, more of on the other side, but meh. And we're, we'll add it here too, just because. Oink. Blop, 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 blop. All right, so the upper lip, not too bad. And after we get these in place, we probably won't need to do too much with them. Uh, boink, boink, grab this, pull it here, grab this, pull it here, grab this, pull it here, grab this, pull it here. I think in yes. So you see how it's kind of hiding some of this like inner mouth that we haven't done yet. It's basically what we're trying to do. We're trying to hide things. And you can see where there's like that there, but we didn't see it before when we had that. I think you guys got the idea of what I'm trying to accomplish. I don't know why I keep explaining it. You guys aren't idiots. 
I mean, there's a couple of you out there who are idiots, but I'm not going to say who who you are. You know who you are. <laughs> the rest of you, however, you're smart little cookies, and <laughs> you understand what I'm trying to say. I would say if I put my mind to it, I could probably rig a chibi in about a day. Um, depending on how much, how involved it is. Chibis aren't overly complicated. My model took me about a week to do. Uh, and that's pretty much all I did. That's all I worked on. So when I say a week, I mean like an actual week. I woke up, I would start working on it. I would stop for like lunch and showers and shit. Well, actually more like dinners. I didn't really stop for lunch. I barely ate lunch while working on this. I didn't really eat breakfast either, but I digress. Um... No. And you see this mess here? I don't fucking care about this mess. You know why I don't care about this mess? Because you're not even gonna see it. Not really. You can fix it if you want, but for me... Pfft, <laughs> don't care. It makes, this makes, like, the biggest goddamn mess. It is one of the downfalls with working with uh, line deformers, is that it can be all over the place and messy AF. But if it's not a big deal to you, if you don't really need it to be perfect, like I don't need this to be perfect, then by all means use it. I love using it. Mass 3 is hidden, but there's... Okay, so when you get things like this, it just means, like, you have something hidden. I've gotten one before, and it was, like, the stupidest thing. I could not figure out what was wrong, and come to find out it was... Um, because you see how this point right here is not highlighted? I had something like that. I forgot to highlight one of those points. And, man, I had to go through and fucking find which one it was. It was such a pain. That's the idea. Not about that. This. Silly. Yo, silly duck. And you can also grab, like, sections, like, highlighted sections, and then just, like, adjust like this as well. If that makes it easier for you. Um, it does have to be all highlighted in this red in order for that part to work. Um, there's also this individual deformer. Like, there's many different ways that you can kind of work with this. To get it to do what you want to do. Bend it to your will. You are the god of this world. And do not let it tell you otherwise. And if you find it like you just can't get it right. You can just add a point if you need to. And be like nope this is where you live now. And it should kind of help fix some things. Like, the, the points will bend to your will. It just depends on how much extra fucking work you want to do with it. That is the okayest thing for me. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is find where I put the mouth stuff. Grab this throat. Grab the throat ID. And then apply a mask to the, the tongue. Or, you know that clipping thing we did right there? Yeah. And now we do that for this. To about the shape I think the tongue would be when it makes these. So it's like, ooh... Must be kind of like a, 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 
This would be like a E and then a and then a It's just, a, it's just the mildest of movements. You know what I kind of want to do for this one? I kind of want to shrink it, but I'm going to like put it in the way. I'm going to make it like up here. So it's like, maybe a little higher. Yeah. Oh, let's to highlight that real quick. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. This is good. I like this! I'm going to consume your soul! Also, why is this one eye? I didn't even notice. Why did you guys tell me that this one eye is like in the shocked, shocked eye? Apparently there's a way you can like stick your tongue out. I uh, don't find a need for that. But it's one of those things that I have considered. All right, the next thing we're going to do is similar to the, the tongue is the tooth. And we're going to apply the uh, the masking to the throat. And for the most part, I don't really adjust too much. Ah! Uh, as far as like... The size and stuff or the shape um you can you can get really detailed i've seen people do like the inside of the, the teeth turning in different directions i myself don't do that because um ah. i think as long as you have like enough like a, the basics it's good enough and teeth don't um don't deform really so for what i'm doing it's fine Wow! That's amazing! Yeah! <laughs> I gotta do the lower lip too. So keep in mind like how thin that, you know, your mouth stretches when you uh, go to rig all this stuff. I assume most people who are rigging are a little bit of an artist or at least have studied enough to understand like how the mouth stretches and stuff and yeah like granted it wouldn't be bowed like this but as it's supposed to look like just a blob just like a dot of lipstick for this um face for the this chibi face it's good enough for what i'm doing but the wider it is the thinner and longer it should be Also, for anyone who wants to know my opinion on whether I think Live 2D or 3D is better, I don't have a preference. I mean, I like them both. Actually, I do have a little bit of a preference. I do prefer 3D a little bit more, but only because of the versatile nature of it to where it can be used in various things. So it can be used in like VR chat, it can be used in 3D printing, it can be used for tracking. Um, you can do dances with it and other things where all that has to be specifically rigged for this. Um, you can do animations with the other thing and this, this is really mostly for just face tracking. But if you're just tracking for streaming or whatever, then, you know, I think either is fine. Like, it doesn't really matter. There's great programs for both. Um, so yeah. That looks good. Look at that. Look at that. Ha! <laughs> now that we have all that shit, uh, I don't need this form. That was just mostly for your, for the sake of whatever. I'm going to put this in a deformer, and the why I have the mouth open is because when I go down, I want to make sure that I don't accidentally have it go up past the face. So this is going to be mouth X Y. Um, and you can even do, like, a Y form if you're doing, like, iPhone tracking to make the mouth go, mm -hmm. or an X form, I think. An X form, sorry. I'm go back and forth. Mm -hmm. Wow, wow, wow. But it is what it is. All right, this will just make it easier for me to figure out what I'm doing. But All right, so. Flap! 
what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab half of it and just kind of like pull it in and then take this and kind of pull it back so it looks like it's a little in depthy and then I might just like pull this in a little bit we're using the nose to kind of line up with the mouth granted the nose doesn't line up perfectly because uh it's gonna come down it's gonna swoop out from the nose and come back in so we could technically pull this in just a smidgen like this and it'll still be fine And I'm going to do a reflect motion for the opposite. Oh, reflect the motion, please. There we go. I'm just going to twist a little bit. Let's push it down a little bit. I like it like that. Yeah, I don't know. I if I move this like here. All right. I'm going to try to adjust this. And I can clip this to like these parts to the skin so I don't have to worry about it, but yeah, unfortunately with the chibis, you get this, like, really, um, big mouth and not a lot of face to work with. Yeah. See, I like how it's kind of like that. I think this one's actually up a little higher. Let's bring that up just a smidgen. Okay. Yes. Um. Then we're gonna take it up. Well, let me let me redo that. Take it up. I'm gonna use the arrow keys to just kind of make move it up up. And I'm gonna use the arrow keys here to move it down down. And I'm just getting into where I want the top of the mouth to be. And now I'm going to adjust dish because I want this to kind of like bow a little bit to kind of, the face would kind of have like this bit of a bow like this, like you see the arch I'm making with my, yeah. And with this, it's the same thing. It's first of all, I'm going to shrink it a little bit. I'm gonna pull the bow down here and pull the ins, the outs, the corners up, the ins and the outs. All right, now I'm gonna just kind of synthesize the corners and then I'm gonna adjust as need be because it'll just get them in the basic spot of where I want them. And then I'll just have to fix things like this. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's see how this looks when we go over here to the do, 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 do modeling physics. And we're just going to do random poses. <laughs> oh, look how cute it is! <laughs> oh, I'm in love with it! I can't wait. Alright, well that's um that's what I'm gonna call for this episode or this tutorial. It's an episode, there are episodes, okay? We're doing episodes now. Uh that's what I uh, I'm gonna call it for this episode. It's took me like an hour to do the mouth. I hate doing the mouth, it does take me a while. Um But man, is that cat yeah out? <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope it's helped you at all um, and if you liked it and want to see more from me then please subscribe and give this video a like because you know why not and um, leave a comment down below if you have any questions I'll try to answer what I can but no promises I am not like an expert by any means I 
I know enough. I've been playing with it on and off for the past four years. Uh, yep. And anyways, I will see you in the next one where we will do... Hair? Let's get some hair going. Yeah! Alright, love you guys. Bye!